at a very early age Manuela Akuri was attracted to show business and she became a fashion model In 1995 she played part in soap operas and in her first film Black Holes then she had a supporting role in The Graduates and a major one in the comedy film Magnomeria which brought her to the attention of the movie going public she continued acting in other movie and stage production such as a pretty story of a woman eliola at the side of gianfranco zenuzo viajo celebrity presents top manuela akuri movies number 15 black holes in the horrible suburb of napoli we can follow among fantasy mythology and reality the absurd life of the protagonist the young adam written after many years to his hometown located on the coast of campania his mother whom he had not seen for some time has just died but he doesn't care after getting a job in adelmo's small transport business a childhood friend adamo meet angela a prostitute and save her from the harassment of a client the woman fall in love with her savior but adam is nothing more than an unrepentant warrior who take pleasure in hiding in the grass and observing his new flame with other men number 14 coconut head tomaso plastic surgeon and pietro model are two brother with mediocre professional careers very different from each other and always at odd on everything upon exhumation of their father who died in 1969 in malaysia they discovered that in reality the coffin is empty wanting to clarify the episode the two live for malaysia according to the funeral agency that took care of the shipment of the coffin the sender was filippo the former partner of his father after tracing him the two brother discovered that the man did not actually send the coffin to italy that his father died in borneo in 1975 and that he is buried in kuala lumpur held by nina Filippo's daughter the two discover that this tomb is also empty Number 13 Free Willy Pericles become paralyzed after a back surgery 2 years later together with the lawyer Cardemon and his friend Mario he decide to sue the doctor who performed the operation Poor Pericles following a herniated disc surgery end up in a wheelchair. He naturally intend to sue the luminary who operated on him. But he is an arrogant, protected and dangerous baron. Strong and credible witnesses are needed. It is the knot around which the story is articulated. Then there is a beautiful wife. There are two hideous aunt and endless series of comic intrigue taken for granted by commedia dell'arte some laughter is ripped number 12 non si ruba a casa dei ladri antonio married to daniela has a cleaning company but one day inspicable he loses a large contract and find himself without a penny or a roof Having moved temporarily with his elderly aunt Titiana, he set out to look for a new job until due to a series of circumstances, he ended up at the home of Simon Santoro, a dishonest big shot in politics, engaged to the beautiful and young Lori, who offered to take him and Daniela as waiter for 5,000 euro a month. The two gladly accept the assignment but after a while a sensational truth emerges Simon is the person who made Antonio lose his job by revoking the contract Number 11 Pepe Cavallo 
The series, the result of an Italian Franco Spanish co production, includes six episodes, shot respectively two in Italy, two in France, and two in Spain. Pepe Cavallo, as Montalban's reader are well known, is a Spanish private detective, ionic and disenchanted, who faces the investigation not only to discover the culprit but with the curiosity to decipher the world around him. From Montalban, nothing has been obtained that has to do with the investigator Pepe Cavallo with the atmosphere of the book with the baruki and decadent and resurgent Spain that the writer describe. Those who have not read Montalban are faced with a watered-down TV film of color and German fixity, without rhythm, without backbone and the same as many others. Number 10. V. G. Dino's Three intertwined story about wedding and honeymoon. First story. Renyoro Mary Fossa, his second wife, the honeymoon in Venice turned tragic when Fossa realizes that she cannot compete with Renyoro's first wife. Finally, she commits suicide just like her predecessor did. Second story Ivano is married to Jessica, and their wedding journey is an uncompromising tour of discourse. Soon the two realize that their relationship is running dry and after several attempts to revive their passion, they fall into depression and boredom. Third story. Newlywed Giovannino and Valeria are about to leave for a cruise. When Giovannino is forced to look after his elderly father who has been abandoned by the caretaker. Meanwhile. Valeria take care of her sister who pretend to commit suicide to get money from her ex-boyfriend. Their honeymoon turned into nightmare. Number 9. Begnomeria A Pietre Santa all are excited for the annual party of summer end. Here we find four characters. Merigo, a naive guy, passionate of bike. Pierre, son of the mayor, Simon, a pastiferous kid. Mario, lifeguard of Bagnomeria. The film is divided into four stories set in Versilia at the end of the season. In the first, a child named Simon fall in love with a girl and leave the colony to follow her. In the second, a conservative mayor clash with a son of completely different idea and behavior. In the third, the village drunkard is made the object of a decidedly heavy jog by making him find a dead man in a coffin instead of the wine he thought was contained there. In the fourth, a kind-hearted lifeguard saved the owner of the Bagnomeria from bankruptcy. Waiting for more than good television rating, Panarello sue on a B-series film that does not go beyond a series of sketches. Number 8. Moni Senza Donne. Alex and Max are two friends who share the same apartment. The first is an advertiser, elegant, healthy, and with a passion for kickboxing, while the second is a saxophonist, wasted in appearance, heavy drinker, and with a neglected principle of ulcer. Alex is engaged to Paula, but with careless cynicism, he continuously views fleeting relationship with any woman he liked, including colleague in the office, where he worked with Paula, but constantly waiting for a signal from Ilonaira, a model that hit him, but proved undecided whether to end a relationship with a man much older than her. On the contrary, Max is shy and lonely dreamer, always looking for the right person. A new backing vocalist is rehearsed during a rehearsal session at the ensemble in which Max play. Anna, who after the success of the rehearsal arouses the interest of Max, who invite her to the irony of her classmate. Number 7. A Spazzo Nel Tempo In Hollywood, on a tourist visit, the Milanese Walter Boso and the Roman prince Asenio Villa Omeosa do nothing but squabble. However, when they are both on the time machine invented by a certain professor Mortimer, they are forced to share. 
due to a malfunction of the same a series of adventure in the past it begin with prehistory and then move on to the renaissance venice in the 18th century rome and capri in 1960s the future is still waiting for them since the time machine became part of world literature the idea has been revived in countless form the one chosen by the one genius is only one of the many and not even the worst why the machine is like this you take advantage of the action and the era in which you place it until it work and then ready up for the leap into another era number 6 grete evinci Andrea, Maurizio and Sergio are three bloc from the Italian province idle by profession lazy indolent and full of inventiveness they always manage to get by behind some naive person Maurizio is engaged to the police woman Anna of whom he is very jealous Sergio still live with his mother and Andrea is bullied by his wife and former boxer brother-in-law When a troop arrive in the city to shoot a commercial, Andrea and Sergio meet two actresses. In the meantime, Maurizio is left by Anna. The winning of a large sum at the scratch and win are invested by the three in a trip to Sardinia in search of the actresses of the spot. The film lasting 1 hour and 32 minute was filmed almost entirely in Sardeno. Given the lack of success, the film was never translated into English. Number 5 Any 16 In Italy in the mid 1960s still in full economic boom the event of various humanity intertwined Vittorio Ferrari is a lazy time waster devoted mostly to horse racing who is always looking for ways lawful or not to change his life in order to win back his wife Julia and not disappoint the expectation that his son Luca places in him Marietto is a quiet husband from the Venetian province too dominated by his wife who in the year before the revolution discover how friend and acquaintances are actually much less modern than they want to imply Nino Diamanti on the other hand is a wealthy building owner and a great tax evader struggling with an outstanding tax inspector Dr D Alessio The family of the two unwillingly end up crossing each other also due to the sentimental relationship that is established between Demanti's daughter Alessandra and the Alessio's son Lucino. Number 4 The Witch of Hair Night of San Juan in 1980 Miguel provoked the explosion of the car of his partner and friend Arist Two strange old men have witnessed the murder The next day accompanied by a girl they appear at Arish funeral and tell a surprise Gironja that from that day on he will see all his dream come true in exchange for he will know when he sees a black cat with a full moon on its forehead 20 year later on the eve of Saint Juan Seraphine an unfortunate messenger with respiratory and cardiac problem has an accident with his Vespino in the midst of the chaos he find a basket inside which is a black kitten with a white spot on its forehead in the basket there is an address which turn out to be that of the house of the two old men number 3 Regina de Fiori Regina is a beautiful florist with a shop in the famous Romanian market Campo de Fiori although she is courted by all the young people in the area Regina gives her full attention to the four orphan she take care of together with her neighbor whom everyone call the countess the countess also want to see her married protege but Regina prefer to wait for fat formo whom she may have the opportunity to meet during a stay in Venice in the person of the charming Federico the countess nephew number 2 sange caldo we are in rome in 1958 the year remember for the merlin law which marked the end of the close houses 
the criminal with the code of honor Arturo known as Mr want to land his last blow the robbery of the century to then live happily with his Anna Rossi a young prostitute who has two children Antonia and Sergio However the man did not take into account the wickedness and ruthlessness of his accomplice Gian Pontona who overwhelmed by debt with Lon Sark Vito and Belafaze he won the entire loot from the robbery and are stopped by the commissioner Moro for the killing of Mr of whom Pontona is responsible in trust the money to Loretta her best friend in order to guarantee a future for Antonia, Sergio and Enia, Loretta's son. But Fontana is willing to do anything to get that money back, even to kill. Number 1. Il Pecato e la Vagonia At the end of the 1930s, in a fascist room, the sensual and combative common meet Nito Valdi, a diabolical and criminal mind who fall madly in love with her. Unrequited due to his violent nature, Nito is obsessed with his unstoppable passion. Meanwhile, Carmen joined her destiny to that of the rich Fontemara trader who, discovering themselves Jewish, will experience the ruthlessness of the racial laws. Strong feeling and deep impulses projected on a tormented and controversial historical background. Love, hate and revenge are intertwined with political commitment, giving life to a tight construction of action, intrigue, passion and thrilling twist.